I'm here with Anil from KCRW and he is the social media guru. He might not say that himself, but that's what I'm gonna say. We're here at the Twitter conference in Los Angeles and I was really engaged by hearing the things that KCRW has done. Can you give me a little bit of update on what you guys have tried, what's worked? Sure, so we've been on social media for about two and a half years at this point. We started off with MySpace as a um, experiment, really. Actually, no, that was really something that we just knew that we needed to be there for. And so we started on MySpace, then we went on Facebook, and we went on Twitter. And really the point of it was to really engage with our listeners and fans and members um, as authentically as possible in the places where they live. So instead of forcing them to come to us, or forcing them to email us about either issues or questions or a desire to connect with KCRW, we basically figured what we needed to be is to go there and engage with them at that level. Um, and that started off with us really sending out um, messages about programming updates, special events, when we're in a pledge drive, we talk about our pledge drive, but also dealing with customer service issues when something crops up that isn't working well or if the site's down or the transmitter's down and really engaging with them in an authentic manner and really going back and forth with them, whether it's comments or input, um, promotional stuff on our part, when a special artist is just getting ready to play on air or there's a really hot topic on shows like To The Point, um, we really try to cover that and basically give our fans, friends, followers, listeners, um, the content that we hope they would find interesting and engaging as now part of the service that we offer. Tell me about, you told me that you had a time where you had some dead airspace. Right. Like that's right. got to be just like nerve wracking and frustrating and you want to deliver and so how did you guys handle that right. customer service issue? I mean it was really interesting. So when, when we go dead on air obviously the phones start to ring off the hook but now because of our online listenership um, you know, things on comments on Facebook and Twitter start to really go off the hook, so to speak. So basically, people start to wonder why there's dead air. They want to know what's happening. Um, you know, it just, it just, it's just about communication at that point. And so, what we've done when this has happened is really let people know immediately that we're off the air. Usually, it's because of a technical issue, um, and then try to give them as much of a play-by-play -play as we can about us trying to get back on the air, you know, whether it's a, a technical glitch at the station or if it's something larger that's happening out in the world, um, either with a transmitter or an earthquake even. If, I mean, but usually yes. we don't go off the air because of an earthquake, but if that were to happen, sure. um, then our, our, our sort of intent is to really inform people as quickly as possible and let them know what's happening, um, engage them in, in the process as well of knowing what's happening. And, so what is you know, their reaction? I mean. The reaction is it? usually really great. I mean, I think that part of it is being informed, like they really know what's going on. Um, for us, uh, we have, we're lucky, we have an extremely passionate following of listeners and fans and followers, and um, they, you know, they, they, they send out good thoughts, you know, they retweet. Um, they, they just become part of the process, they're part of the community that's rooting for KCRW to succeed, whether it's getting back on the air, or um, like we talked about in the case of pledge drives, helping us generate support for the station, um, you know, or just helping us break a new artist. So we have an artist that we're really excited about. He or she is going to be playing on Morning Becomes Eclectic. And now we're actually able to tweet about that artist going on air and have his fans or her fans then jump into that social media universe and actually help promote the artist further beyond our boundaries into their boundaries and their networks, which is huge. And so what do you see for the future of KCRW and the customers? I think it's really interesting. I mean, I think we've done a lot of the basic things that a lot of companies do. Perhaps it's, it's, it's like best practices. We, we hope that our bond is really strong. We think that our bond is really strong with our listeners. But really it is about figuring out more of what they want, figuring out a way for us to be able to give them that, whether it's special social media only events, whether it is um, giveaways, whether it's contests or sweepstakes. Um, games, perhaps. I mean, we're really trying to figure that part out. I mean, I think that is the challenge of where we are now, which is that um, once you've sort of done the basics, once you've done what everybody expects of you, and you're not really sort of playing a marketing game where you're like, let's just get a million followers. I mean, it's really about value and engagement. And so we are now trying to figure out what that is. You know, is that content? Is it reporting from sites of uh, places where uh, breaking news might be happening or current affairs kind of stuff might be happening? Is it? Um, well, I love the fact that you're going to ask your your listeners because I think that's really important. We talked a little bit about the idea of Deming and he was trying to tell the auto industry to pay attention 
to, you know, what, what what was happening in America. And auto industry basically sent Deming to Japan. Now look what happened. So I'm really excited to hear that you're going to reach out to your listeners and take the feedback and integrate that into your business plan. Right. So, I mean, you know, we're going to start putting out more suggestions of what people want from us and then really try and act on it um, and really just do more with it. But hopefully we'll extend the experience of what KCRW is to them in a way that they really want it to be, you know, both on air as well as online. It's fantastic. Thank you, Anil, very much. And that's the update from KCRW and the Twitter conference here in Los Angeles. Thank you very much.